the seed that be evolved into the mural project uh, began like two years ago now, the first day of school. Uh, my son was a fourth grade transfer student into the school and on the first day of school, as my wife and I brought him to the building, uh, my prayer really was to see opportunities to serve. What captured my imagination were instructional signs for parents written in 12 different languages right at the entrance of the building. Now being from Bay Ridge and, and living here for as long as I've lived here, um, I appreciated the diversity of the community and had you asked me intuitively, um, I would have suspected that there were a lot of immigrant kids that attended the school. But to see that visual that day uh, really inspired me. They kind of asked me, what do, you, what do you want to see more of in terms of arts at the school? And one thing I said actually early on was, I would really love if there was a mural here because I go down to Sunset Park on 4th Avenue and I say to myself, why don't we have one of those beautiful murals? For the last three years, the exterior of the building was, was surrounded by scaffolding. Uh, the city was restoring the outside. This year, when we showed up in September, the scaffolding had been removed. And so we had a blank canvas, a beautiful, you know, redone building facade. Um, and so early on in the fall, I floated the idea to the parent coordinator about the possibility of doing a mural project. We had um, an open call for submissions um, for students to say what made them feel welcome in their own home because this is their daytime home. Um, so we got a lot of physical objects, artifacts, we got a lot of drawings and paintings and words um, from teachers, but mainly students and families. Um, and we looked at all that with Sam, the artist. Taking the students' concepts and, uh, you know, the students did drawings and then we looked at all the concepts and all the ideas. So it was already, uh, I didn't want it to be what, what is my concept of welcome or how do I view a, a multicultural society? Because personally, I don't care about how I view it, I don't think my view is so important, and I don't think my view is so important to share to everybody else. But what I do feel is important is um, getting everybody else's view and trying to absorb that and see, well, what's your view? What's your view? What's your view? School is where you spend the majority of your time, and if you're not welcome at school, then I feel like that creates a fear of society, and you just get holed into this environment, this feeling that you're not welcome, and welcome, like. My sister said welcoming is to respect someone and to introduce them to new things and I feel PS102 does that really well because we have so many immigrant kids and it's like a melting pot, it's like a little taste of what America is, it's got everybody mixed in and just to have that and see that you're, you're different but so is everyone else is really exciting. It feels exciting and I'm really happy because those ideas can be shown to the whole school and they can see what PS102 has done. It's important for kids to welcome other kids into their school because some kids might be unsure about the school and how, how fun or safe the environment is and they want to know, like they want to be welcomed and they want to know that it's a good school and they want to be able to tell other kids that it's a good school. Uh, it has had a tremendous impact on our school. Um, not only because it's going to be there on the wall for many years to come and for kids to appreciate, but just the experience of bringing together um, parents, teachers, um, to, to go out and paint and actually bring a project which was an idea to fruition is, is an amazing experience and I think that that uh, built such a sense of community um, that we hope will kind of continue in many years to come. It was really a, um, a wonderful experience.
DS 102.